Hello everybody, it's Emily. Welcome back to my channel. And as you can see, I'm back with another sort of a positive anxiety talk. Now, again, I haven't, I'm pretty sure you all got my Halloween message um, from my previous. And obviously I'm so, I'm still so annoyed how my previous video, the one where I speak about my anxiety and I've forgotten what it was all about really, to be honest. Um, yeah, and of course I was questioning the authorities and I was really like trying to get into grips I think that's the right way to say it um yeah but um I just like to do this video at this very moment because my sister's out with a boyfriend as usual she's hardly ever home <laughs> and my mom's gone out to work and she's off for the night the next two weeks unless she gets called in so I thought my anxiety this week again has been a nightmare and it has been, I mean, it lasted for like 24 hours, but it was really bad. And I'd like to get to the point where there is always a reason why that our anxieties can get so, so bad during this time. So this is some, this is the sort of tip that I've learned when I was in therapy. Um, that what I was told is that question yourself and maybe like talk to yourself about you know like why are you suddenly having anxiety and another another good tip I've learned is also like questioning have you had this symptom before if you've had this symptom before and you've turned out okay then you know you've got nothing to worry about and you question again thinking okay so why is my anxiety bad have I been through a difficult time have I been through a stressful time and then before you know it, you begin to remember like what stressful moment has happened to you or like what sort of thing that has bothered you or like scared you or maybe was too exciting and it sort of overwhelmed you. So, yeah, this is something that I want to talk about because I've been putting this one off for such a long time and I'm just hoping to God this will not get removed. I'm pretty sure I've got nothing against any authorities um so hopefully this is a sort of positive video so i'm hoping that this will not get removed um so yeah i am so sorry that i didn't upload a halloween special of the most rarest and forgotten kids shows i was really desperate to do it but i came down with the cold and you know, that's just what i remembered what my video was about about why i'm dreading the winter season and of course, as you can tell, anxiety wise, this is the main issue. So I don't know if I'm going to be, I do have another video in mind that has finally come to YouTube. Thank God. But I am still working on it. I am still trying to think properly about it. But there is definitely going to be a Christmas one. But I'm not too sure if it's going to be the most rarest and forgotten kids shows video I'm going to do something very different for Christmas because obviously, you know, I did a big one last year and I'm desperate to do something much more bigger than that. And of course, bring back all your old favourite TV shows you used to watch as a child. So, yeah, fingers crossed. <clears throat> I feel a tickle coming. Um, yeah, fingers crossed that everything will be great. So, yeah. Hardly got any juice left. Um, yeah, so anyway. So I want to quickly talk about um what happened to me a few days ago so it's gonna sound like really embarrassing but you know these things happen so sometimes when I'm by myself right I'm, I'm home alone and I'm bored out of my mind and I'm thinking I know I will do a TikTok or I will do a video so I do that I do a little TikTok sometimes on my TikToks I do dancing all the time and that's another thing I want to point out if you have TikTok um I'm on it every single day apart from weekends I am rarely on weekends with TikTok, so if you guys want to give me a follow on TikTok, my username is Emily the Dancer 24 and my profile pic is still the same as YouTube and Instagram and my Facebook. So, yeah. <laughs> so, what was I talking about? <laughs> yeah, so I was going to talk about, yes, um, I was doing a TikTok and I was on my knees and then um, I was like, okay, I'm going to get myself up now. And then I reached my hand out to um, touch the wall, not, not the wall, the, 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 the back door window, the back door. And as I'm getting myself up, um, my hand actually like slipped because the window was quite slippery. 
so I sort of slipped and I sort of like banged my head a little bit and I was like oh bang my head ow that hurt um but I didn't take any like notice of it I took like no notice of it whatsoever and I didn't bother putting an ice pack on it whatsoever which I really should have done um but then um, like during the day shortly after well not shortly after that happened um I was on my laptop and my head felt a little not I'm not sure if it was my head um obviously something did feel I felt a little bit odd with myself and I thought oh it's just my anxiety playing up or it's just my um time of the month but yeah and I just thought oh maybe it's just my ears playing up a little bit um or maybe it's just the last part of the cold because um obviously I had a cold last week so I'm thinking maybe that was just the last bit of it so throughout the whole day I ignored it I didn't think anything of it and then um, the next morning, obviously, my mom was at work. My, sis my sister was also at work. So I was by myself again. And my twitchy head sort of like came back a little bit. Like my sort of dizzy moment came back as well. And I was like, oh, what is wrong with me? I thought that was going away in right now. And then I feel my head. And then I felt it and I felt, oh, my head's a little bit bruised. And then that's when I remembered, I thought, oh yeah, I banged my head. And then obviously the fact that I was by myself, I was feeling it and, you know, I tried to look to see if it, if it was bleeding or not. Um, and then that's when the anxiety suddenly kicked in thinking, oh my God, maybe that's why I'm having them dizzy spells. I'm, I'm having that random twitch in my head or my neck is aching because I banged my head and now I'm getting a reaction out of it or I'm... And, that's when my anxiety got really, really bad because I thought, oh my God, I'm going to go into work and I'm going to collapse and die because I didn't sort my head out. So I spent about an hour and a half, like literally by myself. And I was scared to death thinking, oh my God, I'm going to, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. And thank God my mum called me because I didn't tell her about it. And because I forgot all about it. So I told her about it and she went on about me like, Oh, you know, like it, like when was the last time you hit your head? And I said, well, I didn't really bang it that bad. It was just very mild. So I didn't see anything wrong with it. And, you know, she asked me like, when, when was the last time that you did it? And I was like, I don't remember. I don't even remember what time I did it. What time I did it. I didn't even focus on the time. I did not. But I think it was about nine o'clock in the morning. And when she came home, it was about like noon. So she said to me, well, then you're fine. Because if it was serious, then, you know, I would have had to take you up to A&E. If you like, knocked yourself out, then yeah, you would have to go to A&E for it. So my anxiety got really, really bad again. And of course I could feel the um, headache, not headache, just a bit of um, twitchy. Um, I had a bit of a migraine here, had a bit of a headache here and sort of a bit back there. And of course, you know, I was really scared because I mean, I went into work, which was good. Um, work was really good. I didn't feel anything at all. Um, the dance was very energetic and everything. So yeah, blah, blah, blah. And then come by the evening, that's when it got really bad again. I um, Believe it or not, I was so scared to go to sleep because I was thinking, I'm not going to wake up. I'm not going to wake up. And this is going to be very embarrassing. But sometimes like when, I, when I'm by myself and when it's like the evening, sometimes I fall asleep. I usually, I usually like go to sleep for a little bit before I go to bed. And... Before, but little, little did I know, I actually like fell asleep on, on my sofa and it was about 10 o'clock at night and my mum woke me and I thought I was dreaming for a split second and I was like touching her and I was like, oh my God, I fell asleep, I fell asleep, what the hell? And then, and then my mum kept questioning me saying, Have, has this happened before? Has this happened before? Have you fallen asleep before? And I said, well, yeah, sometimes I do, but not like that. You know, I'm not literally fall asleep. I just close my eyes for a few minutes and then I'm off to bed. So, and then that's when my anxiety got really, really bad again. And my mom had to come up and she had, and like, she stayed with me. We, we tried to talk a little bit and she kept reassuring me that I was okay. If it was bad, it would have happened ages ago. So yeah and um it really terrified me and it took me hours and hours just to finally go to sleep and my mum kept checking on me making sure I was okay and yeah and then the minute I woke up the next morning I felt relieved I felt okay I feel good I'm out of bed and I'm smiling 
I've got nothing to worry about. I'm good. So yeah, and um, and then that's when I started thinking. Okay, so what the hell happened? Like, why did it get so bad? Why did it? And then that's when I thought back and I thought, okay, I've had the cold, which was not fun at all. Because I mean, I went out with my sister for the day and I was in a really bad way. I kept sneezing and sneezing and sneezing. And it was terrible because me and my sister, we, we went out to lunch and I kept blowing my nose. And I was really worried about infecting other people. Um, so, and like we even went to the cinema after that because we wanted to, we went to see um, the, the second chapter of Harry Potter. And I've never seen it at the cinema before because I was too scared. But um, so yeah, that was gonna, that was like the, the opportunity I did not want to miss. I couldn't miss it one little bit. So yeah, I was worried about that. Um, and of course with like the weather being bad as well, like it was, um, I remember it was, it was, it was on a Tuesday and, um, I was meant to go to street dance class. And the problem is, is that sometimes like with my anxiety being really bad, I struggle trying to go on a bus on my own. So I either have my mum or my sister <clears throat> to take me there and back. And I decided like not to go because they both have been working very long hours. So I had to miss my street dance class for that. And I was angry. I was upset because it was my first one back after the summer. So I was really frustrated with it and I was angry. And I was at the point where I'm like, this needs to stop now. I need to get on a bus by myself. So, yeah, that happened. And, yeah, and of course, like, with, like, the bad weather as well, where that's been bad. And, of course, you know, like, it was thundering and it was lightning. And I am terrified of thunderstorms, as you probably would know anyway. So, yeah, and, of course, that made me realise why. And you're also, like, not going to believe this as well. But um, during that day, when I felt that bruise on my head... Um, what happened was I was doing my story and I wrote a little bit about how you can have a, bla a, a bleed, a bleed in the brain and it could last for like 12 to 24 hours or some something as stupid as that. And of course, you know, this is again why I keep saying to myself, don't you dare Google. But I was just like, oh, I'm just I'm just Googling it for a story. It's not nothing to do with me. And I think that's when the anxiety again suddenly kicked in because I mentioned that. Um, and then and then, of course, you know, like, again, I Googled and I Googled, which made things 10 times worse. So, yeah, and that's what really did put my mind at rest. I was like, oh, that makes more sense now. So I understood very well. And this is like the perfect tip for anybody who has anxiety especially if it's health anxiety, you know, just try and like think back and, you know, it can be something stupid. It can be something annoying or something that really scared you as well. And of course, you know, with the weather being bad recently, again, it's really been awful because I think back to the summer and it was so nice. I was like living life again, but living like this, it's like, oh God, here we go. <laughs> but, um, yeah, and of course, like my worries with COVID as well. I mean, touch wood, the cases have gone down an awful lot and like they're not as bad as what they were last year. So, yeah. So anyway, guys, that is um, my story. Um, I've been I know that there's been other issues I've had that, um, you know, that have ha caused my anxiety to play up. But um, yeah, no, I think definitely thinking back to a stressful moment and, and of course this is another thing I want to point out as well um shortly after I had the cold I was scared that my mum was going to get it because my sister had it she gave it to her boyfriend then she gave it to me so I was really scared thinking oh my god my mum's going to get it now but so far she hasn't so and I, I don't think that she will get it because she would have had it ages ago but um yeah no thank god she hasn't so which is um, a relief and that was another thing that I was really scared of happening so again it's no wonder that it's got so bad it really is no wonder um 
So yeah, and of course, I mean, I dread the cold and like the flus and everything, obviously, because I worry that it's COVID. But of course, you know, like I'm trying to get in my head that, you know, a cold is a cold. We've had colds all our lives. We'll be okay. So yeah, I think, you know, those are like the reasons that have made my anxiety really bad. And I think this is the perfect tip for anybody, even you, if you're watching me and, you know, just doing it that way. So yeah so guys um i am doing okay i'm slow i've slowly calmed down from the anxiety i had a good day yesterday um hopefully in the next two weeks time um i'm gonna be riding on the polar express and i'm so excited for that to happen um fingers crossed it will happen because obviously um during the winter time i get let i get let down quite a lot and especially with them um, COVID and with like the cold, like the weather being so cold. But um, do you know what I'm thinking? Now that we've passed the cold and the flu, I'm thinking, okay, we'll be okay. Fingers crossed we'll be all right. Um, and I'm also next week, I'm also visiting the House of Commons and the House of Lords. So I don't know if I'll be allowed to film it, but um, hopefully I will be. I'll be allowed to take pictures and I will, you know, do a bit more vlogging. So yeah, for now, I might, I might be doing some vlogging in the future and hope for the best that I will film another episode of the most rarest and forgotten kids shows and just see where fate brings us. But, you know, if you want to give me a follow on TikTok, I'll post my link in the description and you can all give me a follow because I am very close to 12,000 followers and I'm on it almost every single day. OK, so I will see you guys very soon. And hopefully next time you see me, I will be in the House of Commons and I'll be down in London. <laughs> I'll see you next time, guys. Take care. Bye.